today we're at Sebring Raceway and we're doing a little bit of something different for today's video. One of the things we don't really talk about is that we offer track preparation and track support for enthusiasts with, of course, BMWs. But today we have a Lamborghini Super Trofeo. The reason I brought up preparation is this was a brand new car that our customer brought to us and we took care of all of the things that you need to be able to come out here and have a good day with a car like this. The first thing you guys will notice is the wrap. We work with Guardian wraps, of course, with Tahir like we do with all of our stuff. But there's a lot of things here that you guys don't see that are inside the car that we went ahead and had set up. One of the first things I'll talk about is this has a race logic system, which is a two camera system, one for the front out the windshield and one to the driver so that the driver can learn about all of the techniques and what he's doing right and what he's doing wrong on the track and it actually has a data overlay with the video so we can look at the data and find problem points and then we can pinpoint it back to the video that's a really cool tool for being able to do this and getting the information to be better the next time we also outfitted it with full radio so we can talk to him while he's out there on the track help him out with any troubleshooting that he needs to do the car also is outfitted with a chill out system which is a cool shirt that runs its own specific coolant and has a really small packaging for over on the passenger side of the car so that's another must because because I think track temps today are in the 120s and it's about 107 degrees out here in Sebring. The guy needs to be cool in the car because of course, being a full race car, there's no AC. Some of the other work that we did on the car I did with Adam, who you guys might know from the E91 build that we did. Adam has worked four seasons being a crew chief for Super Trofeo cars, which is one of the reasons that we took this project on. And one of the reasons that we're here today is Adam's extensive knowledge of the car and what it needs. When it comes to the tires, the air jack system that we need to get outfitted, the car doesn't really come with much when you buy it. Maybe it comes with another set of wheels and tires. We had to have the nitrogen. We had to get it all outfitted with the radios and everything so it worked. We also had to put together all of the other things that you need like the high stands for the air jack so we can lift the car up and work on it all the special tools that are needed for the wheels and everything that goes along with that there's also some pretty trick stuff that Adam has modified in there to be able to drain the catch can quickly and be able to do things out here on a day when we don't have a full crew I'm here to help Adam and Adam is here working on the car pretty much solely on his own so as far as the support Matt started out today with the car never driven in one of these before. So we went ahead and set it up with the right tires. Adam helped him out with some coaching on getting everything warmed up and getting it going. We did some damper adjustment. These have Olin's TTX's on them from Lamborghini. We're able to dial those in. We actually put a lot softer springs than these cars come with from the factory because we're at Sebring and it's such a rough course that it needs to be dialed down quite a bit. Also, with the way the input is on the throttle and the braking, we were able to look at that as well. With all the work done today, the times have really improved from when we started to now by substantially over 15 second difference from when we started. I'm really excited we got to show you guys this really special car from Lamborghini. Not many people get to see the car up close and some of the footage that we've shown. If you guys are interested in our track support and preparation, be sure to contact us. We'll have some information down in the comments. We'll see you guys next time.